Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be making a vinyl covering for my searcher. And I really wanted to do this because I made some really cute covers for my sewing machine and the embroidery arm for the sewing machine back there. But I was so happy with the way this one turned out. I did make a little mistake on the top. It's uneven, I know. But other than that, I was super happy with how this one came out and yeah super excited to use it um, so this one is nice and protected from dust and water and everything but i have my serger here who that is not and so i have more sheets of vinyl that i'm going to try to combine to make a covering i ran out of the cute star ones like i didn't i don't have enough sheets to make a star one which i really wanted to do but i do have these holographic sheets so i'll show you my process and um, i'll link all the things that i'm using down below these are just some sheets that i bought from amazon and it came in a pack so these sheets are about eight inches by a little less than 12 which is kind of a weird um measurement but that's what we'll work with so 11 and a half so like a paper size so what i plan to do is because the serger is like kind of a weird i'll bring it over here kind of a weird shape right it's kind of not like a tent but it's a weird shape and so i guess usually when you cover your serger you bring this down sorry if you can the string parts down. I don't usually do that because I don't like it when it gets all loose. I use it fairly often, so, you know, I mean, I should cover it, but I usually don't just because I use it kind of often and then it's already all like fuzzy anyways. But I'm trying to be better. So I am thinking because the sheets are kind of wide enough, it wouldn't be good to use them this way because that would just waste. I think it'll be good this way. I'm just going to sew these together. And my plan is to sew about five sheets going this way. And then, you know, while it's like that, I'll have a couple sheets going this way. Either this way or this way i haven't quite figured that out yet but this is gonna be kind of an experiment just like how the sewing machine was but i'm pretty confident it'll work out it's it's flexible so even if like the sewing machine one even though the sewing machine is like also kind of an odd shape the box kind of the vinyl holds like a boxy shape so it kind of works out I think maybe I'll put a handle on the top so you can just put it on and off, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I can't stop looking at it. I love it <laughs> so much. I wish I had more of this fabric or this vinyl. Okay, so I think the hardest part is trying to figure out the order of the, the vinyl. So I want to put the ones that I like the most, the colors that I like the most in the front. Since that's the parts that I'm going to see. Also, you got to take off all of the protective film otherwise you have to take it off after but i have so I, I like all these colors i don't love these orangey ones and there's like four of them so i think i'm gonna put those on the side and hope it works out i'm gonna put two of those yellow ones on the back and then on the side that i don't see a lot so i think for the front i will put these two first then maybe this pink one and then this kind of orangey one and then an, an orange one just to kind of gradually get these colors in there so that it doesn't look weird when I have the yellow on the side and then for the side pieces I was going to use this blue and white one for the side that I'm going to see all the time and then the yellow ones for the side that I'm going to see not as often hopefully this works out so I just got this sewing machine and this is the Brother SE 2000 and it's a combo sewing and embroidery machine 
and so far i love it this is like i've only done the sewing machine cover so far so this is like still pretty neat to me for the threads i'm just using a regular white bobbin thread but for the top thread i'm using a denim 100 polyester top stitching thread and it's just a little bit thicker if you can see it's kind of hard to tell but it's it's just thicker and so probably more durable so far i am loving this um if your vinyl gets stuck some recommendations are you can either use a walking foot like i am because i love this walking foot that i got on amazon i had it on my old machine and it luckily it just transferred over so they are fit in this new machine um, you can also like get a tissue paper or just print plain printer paper and then cut it out cut a little square out over here and then tape it with washi tape and then then your vinyl should slide through another thing you can do is put washi tape at the bottom of your presser foot not in the place where it's sewing but you know like on the sides so there's ways to get around that you can also get a teflon foot if you want to get a whole nother foot this is a computerized machine so i have to readjust my settings i'm going to use i guess a four millimeter stitch i don't know the needle is on the left side always on this machine so i kind of want to have it I want to do a quarter inch seam allowance, which means I need to move this over. And then I can align my vinyl to the side right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start. This machine also has this really cool like little kickstand thing here where I can uh, uh, use the, what do you call this? Bring the press, presser foot up with my leg, which is amazing. Okay. It also cuts off the threads on its own, which is so cool. So now when you open it up, it's going to want to not be flat. You're going to have to really like press it yourself. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and sew the, the five pieces I chose together. Okay, so here's the five pieces and that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to sew the side pieces together. So these two and these two so this crazy thing is like a mock-up of how i'm gonna do it i just put two of the sides on the sides of course um just in the middle of the five sheets that i did and i just clipped it and i think it'll be the right size i think i like it so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and sew it up so i'm going to mark the center point which is like a friction ballpoint pen and this will help me get it like aligned better so I'm just gonna do the center of the side piece you can kind of see it and then the center of this piece. Okay. And then we're just going to put right sides together. And then I'm going to box it out. So I'm going to cut a half an inch by half an inch or maybe three eighths by three eighths little box out. Okay. So you can totally do this before you clip it together. But since I have it clipped already, I'm just going to mark three eighths and three eighths this way. And I'm just going to clip the corner. 
corners and this just helps you um, be able to like turn the corner and sew the sides better so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this side and then I'm gonna sew across right here from this box to this box okay so I'm gonna be sewing it from this box to this box trying not to go over if possible And I'm still using the same stitch length uh, four millimeter. And I find it's easier to sew it with the seam parts down. So I can press on it a little bit instead of having to try to make it go under the foot. Okay, so now I have both sides sewn on. And now we're going to do the sides. So here it gets a little bit tricky. <laughs> so just because we're working with like a 3D shape, right? So I'm gonna have all my seam allowances pointing down or to the bottom of the box. We're just going to get the corner and then fold it up so that this side Sorry, this part's hitting the camera. Okay. So you can match up the sides. And sometimes you have to just work with it a little bit. If this is not a perfect like meet, meeting up right here, that's fine. Just fold it over and make it work. Um, don't scrunch it up, but I think make it go fold it over on top. And then I just clip it and you have to open up your seam allowance because sometimes it doesn't want to go flat and clip it. And the seam allowance is if you're using the same amount or same um, kind of vinyl as me, they won't match up, but it's okay. And don't worry if this part is hanging off, just sew up to here. We're just gonna cut this off after. So up, depending on your sewing machine, I have a walking foot on, which is like really bulky in the back. So it's kind of hard for me to get to this corner. So I think I'm gonna have to sew from here to here. And that requires some folding down of vinyl. So I'm gonna fold it like this so it's as flat as can be. And I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna sew it, but make sure to stop right here. I don't want it to sew onto this side, if that makes sense. So it's not all the way to the corner, but that's fine. Uh, at least I didn't sew up to there. And it's trimming my little threads. So we're just going to do that for all the corners. I'm going to do that and come back and I we're almost done. Okay, so this is what your box should look like. So nice, right? And so now we're just going to cut off the excess. And how we can do that is really just fold it straight across. And I'm just going to use my scissors and cut, taking care not to cut the um, threads. Don't want to do that. And don't make it all jaggedy either. Try to make a nice smooth line. And I always just save my scraps because you can do things with it. Like for my sewing machine, I'm going to put a handle on the top or my sewing machine cover. And it's really just about sewing a little thing like that okay so now for the hardest part I think of the whole project and that is the birthing of the bag which is like anytime we make a bag or something like this you gotta turn it right side out you can use a hair dryer and um, blow dry it and that softens up the vinyl I kind of usually just fold in the corners like this 
and push it in as much as I can and try to be gentle of course I don't want to rip any seams but at the same time you, just, you gotta just push it so I'm just gonna do that for all the corners Push it down from the bottom, scrunch it up. The colors are so pretty though, right? I kind of like the inside colors, like with this white. You know, I always talk about using the hairdryer. Maybe I'll try it. Let me go get it. Shoot, my camera didn't record when I was using the hairdryer. Anyway, so I had that huge mess, right? So I decided to use the hairdryer. I just have my Dyson Airwrap. It doesn't get super hot. And I hair dried it and I was able to flip it out so much easier. The only thing though is that it looks like it has like these like crinkles. And I don't know how to get it out. And I don't know if it would have happened anyways with the turning out of the vinyl. Um, maybe, maybe not. I will never know now but yeah i don't know how to get these like little i guess crinkles out i tried to blow dry a little bit more and i don't think it i think you have to like lay it flat to get it out so or i looked it up just now and it said you can leave it out in the sun so maybe but i don't know for now this is what it looks like it's still super cute like i love this little holographic fluorescent type of box like this is the most beautiful serger machine cover ever so let's put it on so i did push this thread part down and just gonna put it over gently And yeah, it fits. So yeah, I opened the window so that you could see it a little bit better and how cute it is. Like, I like love it. So I'll give you some measurements. It just perfectly fits around the circumference of my machine. All machines will be different, of course. But for this Juki machine, the bottom circumference is 40, let's just say 44 inches. And it is... 13 inches tall and 11 inches wide. So yeah, and like I said, I used eight by 13 sheets of vinyl. So if you have a, another machine, you will just do your own measurements, measuring the width of your machine plus an inch for seam allowance. And of course, how if you're doing a box like me, you would kind of have to figure out the measurement going that way and then that's for me is 38 inches so and i use five panels so total is nine panels of the vinyl and i think it helps that there are panels versus one sheet because if it's one sheet it will be a little bit squishier like how i made um my sewing machine one if you didn't see that video i use one sheet here, I'll show you on the sewing machine, I guess. I use one sheet to go all the way around. And that's why there's only one seam that I will put in the back. And it's a little bit squishier, you see? So if I had like seams on the sides, it would be definitely more of a box. This one is so big. I do want to put a handle on the top, like right here. And that's what you can use like your scrap pieces for. So I was just going to go like this and then um, this way or this way. I haven't figured it out. And then just hand stitch or machine, machine. So a tiny little handle so that I can just pull it off. Maybe I'll do it for this one too. It might make it easier although this is a smaller box so i don't know but i love it hope you guys love it too and make your own like this is so much nicer than one of those fabric like i don't know quilted ones i don't particularly like 
doing quilting. I don't, I've never actually tried, so I don't even know how to make that. But I love this final one. It's waterproof and dustproof. And now it looks so cute all together. I thought I, I thought the stars would be my favorite, but actually I love the holographic. It'd be better if it didn't have these crinkles, but maybe over time and sun, it'll like kind of flatten out a bit, I, I'm hoping. It's just because I birthed the bag just now that maybe it's like extra like noticeable. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and hope you make this project. And if you do, let me know in the comments.